the next important property is ncr plus ncr minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr so let's see how it is true so let's take the left hand side and try to expand the terms and then see, show that it is equal to the right hand side now let's see the left hand side ncr so ncr we already know that it is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial plus the right the next term is nc or minus one i'm just writing it as it is see if you don't know how to expand it always substitute this with x and then later substitute it back with r minus one so i'm directly writing it n factorial divided by n minus r plus one factorial right because if i if i do n minus r minus one it is going to be n minus r plus one into r minus one factorial now now if you observe this in the numerator these two terms are same in the denominator there is n minus r factorial here and there is n minus r plus 1 factorial here which one is greater this one is greater because here the terms will go till n minus r factorial from 1 1 to n minus 1 factorial we are going to have them and here they will go beyond n minus r and they will go till 1 to n minus r plus 1 and these two terms if you if you see these two terms which one is greater so r factorial is get greater because here we get from 1 to r minus 1 factorial here we get from 1 to r which is beyond r minus 1 so these two terms these two terms they differ by one term and these two terms they differ by one term so what i'll try to do is i'll try to write it and then i'll try to see what to pull out as common now n factorial divided by i'll leave n minus r factorial as it is but i'll write r factorial as r minus 1 factorial into r plus n factorial divided by i'll write this one as n minus r factorial into n minus r plus 1 therefore these two terms put together will become n minus r plus 1 factorial into r minus 1 factorial now if you observe it in these two this one is common and which one is yes, r minus 1 factorial is common and if you observe you know this one so on n minus 1 r factorial is common and then r minus 1 factorial is common now you can pull out all these three isn't it in these two terms you can find out that this one this one this one and this one this one this one all are common you can pull it out then if i pull it out what do i get it is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r minus 1 factorial into 1 by r plus 1 by n minus r plus 1 now you combine these two terms if i combine these two terms what do we get i'm just this one i'm leaving it there so it is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r minus 1 factorial i'm just copying it i'm just copying it over there and now i'm just trying to expand it out i mean add them both now here i get n minus r plus 1 plus r this one here and this one here and cross multiply and multiply them r into n minus r plus 1 right then these two and what do you get here so it is n factorial into n plus 1 which is nothing but n plus 1 factorial divided by just check this it is n minus r it is n minus r plus 1 so if I multiply these two I get n minus r plus 1 factorial into this is nothing but r factorial right so how can i write this i can write this as n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 1 minus r factorial into r factorial so it is nothing but n plus 1 cr this is nothing but n plus 1 cr if i have n plus 1 cr we are going to have n fact n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 1 minus r factorial into r factorial simple did you understand this so i didn't do anything much it simply i taken this left hand side and i have expanded out the terms and i shown you that it is equal to right hand side so instead of doing all this in the exam if you can remember this it is better the reason is we will have 
a lot of questions on them most of the examples they will some or at least some of the examples will require this thing you know this minimization so for example 10c4 plus 10c3 the nc or plus nc or minus 1 is equal to 11c4 11c4 the reason is n plus 1 cr right just be careful when you are writing r and r plus 1 in exam they might give you something like this 10c3 plus 10c4 if they give you like this right you might think that this is r then you might go wrong so remember this carefully ncr plus nc r minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr so remember that among these two terms the denominator is going to be greater than whatever is larger and the numerator is going to be plus 1 if you can remember it that way it will be easy are understanding this see most of you you might make some mistake here so you might think that this is r and you will go with that so one other way to remember it is see in you know in, in these terms what is uh, maximum you put it there and in these two terms you know add one for example if i have 20 c3 plus 20 c4 now how to write it in this one you add one which means 21 c and whatever is maximum you put it so 21 c4 got it so don't go with uh, c3 r is not that so that is how you can remember it so this is one of the important properties we are going to use in uh, while solving the problems